Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in comments below. Today we have a new worksheet and the name of our worksheet is called Math Balloons Place Value. The directions say convert the amount to standard form and circle the correct balloon. So let's take a look at our worksheet here. We've got our, our first problem and it's written out in written form. It says four hundreds five tens and seven ones. And what I like to do when we're talking about place value is to put everything in a T chart to kind of figure out where everything is supposed to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a T chart like this and it starts off like a T because usually what we're doing is we're working with ones and tens, but because here we're also working with a hundreds place, I'm gonna add a new section over here and I'm gonna add a hundreds place right here. So so let's read through that again. It says four hundreds, so I'm gonna put the four in the hundreds place. And then it says five tens, so I'm gonna put the five in the tens place. And then seven ones, okay? And it's written, when you write it out in standard form, it looks just like that. It's all squished together. It's four, five, seven, which we read four hundred, and 57. So let's look for 457 over here with our balloons. And it looks like it's the first one right here, isn't it? 457. This is the correct balloon and the directions say circle the correct balloon. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to circle that one right there. That's the standard form of this number. Okay. Now let's go on to the next one. The next one says three hundreds, zero tens, and zero ones. So again, let's make our T chart, but it's not a T anymore because we've got hundreds place. It looks more kind of like this. It kind of looks like two T's that are stuck together, right? And we've got our hundreds place and our tens place and our ones place. So the direction says three hundreds. So I'm gonna put that in the hundreds place. There's a three and zero tens, zero and zero ones, zero. And when we squish it all together, what number is that? Can you read that number for me? Yes, it's 300, very good. So let's see if we can find that. We've got 333, nope, that's not it. Oh, here it is, 300 right here. And we've got some other options here, but we already found it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna circle that one right here. 300 is the standard form of 300s, zero tens, and zero ones. You're doing a great job. Let's keep going, okay? All right, we've got two more. The next one says 600s, two tens, and eight ones. So let's go over here and make our T chart, okay? And once again, we have H in this side over here for the hundreds place, and we've got T for the tens place, and um, an O for the ones place, and it's always gonna be in that order right there, okay? So six hundreds, well, where's the six gonna go? Yep, it's gonna go right over here in the hundreds place, very good, six right here. And then what's the next one say? How many tens are there? There are two tens, so we're gonna put two right here in the tens place, and then we've got eight ones, okay? So let's put that all together and let's read it. What does that say? That would be this number right here, okay? And that's gonna be 628. Can you help me find that number over here? 628, that's not right. That's not right. What about this one? 682. Oh, I thought that was it at first, but I have to read it all the way through. That's not right either. Here it is, 628. That's our number that we put over there in our T-chart. So very good. Go ahead and circle that last one there, okay? And we've got one more here. The next one, let's start once again with our T-chart and let's write that out. We've got our ones place right over here and our tens place and our hundreds place, okay? So it says nine hundreds, okay? So I'm gonna put that right here with the hundreds, okay? And then eight tens, all right? So I'm gonna put the eight right here in the tens place and four ones, all right? And then let's write that out to the side all squished together. 984, do you know how we would read that? That would be 984. 
84, 984. Let's see if we can find that down here. 984, there's a 900, but that's not right, is it? 900, and here it is, 84. It's this blue one right here. Great job today. You worked so hard in your place value and you were able to write all of those or find all of those in standard form. Bye-bye. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.